In this very short video, we will cover symbolizing a hill shade. The process of creating a hill shade is a little bit beyond the scope of Lab 1. So in this case, we'll start with a hill shade and symbolize it. Opening the Symbology Editor, just like you would for a vector data set, go to the Symbology tab, and in this case we are stretched because it's a continuous surface. There is no spot in which there is no hill because even a hill of zero is part of a hill, and it would be down here. First thing to do would be to change this from Graphic View to the Named View, and notice that goes to black to white. We are going to search for, or hit the down arrow to find the brown light to dark and they are alphabetical here's brown light to dark we will also I'll give you a hint we need to click the invert tab in this stretch box move this out of our way and click apply and you notice how much better the screen looks and the areas that look low are low if we did not click the invert and click apply the low areas would appear high and the high areas would appear low notice how it looks like there's sinks if that were the case the water would flow right in there we'll click the invert back click apply and I'm going to change the name of this layer I don't need to change what appears next to the legend because we're not going to use this symbol in the legend. We don't need to use a legend symbol. But in here, we'll just call this regional topography. Apply. OK. And there's regional topography. There is no need to put in this information into the legend. And that is how you quickly symbolize a pre-made hillshade layer.